What's up, everybody? Graver here, and today we are going to be taking a look at not just this, but also this. Um, I picked up the short dart kit for, from Worker through AK Blaster Mods for this, the Nerf Rival Fate. Now, the Rival Fate is one of the three new Rival Blasters that came out. These came with the blue ammo, uh, the redesigned ones. And this, along with, I believe it was the Pathfinder, and I forget what the second one was called. I'll put it here. But, um, yeah, it was a set of three. The pistol, the slightly bigger pistol, and then the rifle. Uh, but, yeah, found this on sale at Walmart. It's kind of intrigued on it. Picked it up, figured why not. It looks basically like a T-pole uh, knockout. So, yeah, why not give it a shot? And then I saw a uh, worker was making short dart kits for it. So I said, eh, let's see how this goes. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not going to really redo, do a review on this one. It's a very simple pullback, uh, breech-loaded rival pistol. Very similar to the knockout, but instead of doing this... You do that. Pops the breach out, load around in, close it, and you fire. Nice thing is, and this uh, you're able to do even without me opening this up, is you could actually deprime it. So that was actually really nice. But yeah, overall, this is a very nice pistol. The grip is very comfy, but we'll get into that later on. Uh, let's just go over to the bench, take a look at this what the kit came with, and let's get it installed. Okay, so here we have really kind of almost everything you're going to need. Uh, what you will need are a few things, and that is obviously the kit itself, which we will take a look at in a moment. Uh, some screwdrivers to open up your feet. Uh, some markers, because you will have to do some cutting. I have a straight edge, and I also have a pair of calipers. And the reason I have this is because this is the only thing I have that can measure millimeters, which is what the instructions on the AK Blesser Mods Etsy store actually measure in. So need that. And then you need something to cut it with. I happen to have my Dremel here with a quarter inch plastic, I'm sorry, a one and a half inch plastic cutting wheel. So that is what I will be using. Um, so the kit comes as so we have the replacement breach here now for i guess you know anyone who questions benefit or whatever uh this is a mostly 3d printed kit with worker hardware uh this replacement breach is 3d printed along with the top cover which will be covering up your breech section up here along with uh, the actual parts that you will put into or repl replace here at the bottom of the feet for the actual magazine holder um actually i didn't take a look at these are 3d printed or not okay yes the um the magazine the magazine release lever is 3D printed. However, the magazine catch is injected molded. Uh, there is a injected molded barrel here, and it looks like it might have been it might have been super glued in because you can see kind of around the edge there is that white super glue edge. Um, so the barrel is injected molded but the slide part the slide part itself is 3d printed um and then of course the barrel is a blue aluminum worker barrel uh i have to figure out how this is working because i don't know if i'm gonna have to well yeah i don't know if i it We'll figure it out how this is actually working because, I mean, obviously the barrel is free-floating, but I don't know how it's going to stay in place or how this is working. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to figure it out because 
while yes, AK Blaster Mods was nice enough to put a um, instruction guide, I guess you can say, on their Etsy page, which is what I'm going to be following off, it's literally six steps. And it doesn't, like, kind of give you much. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking possibly this is actually going to be... Um, stationary like this doesn't pop out anymore and literally to load it is you're gonna have to move the barrel yourself which I do find a little odd um, also odd uh, the uh, the new um, I guess muzzle piece or not muzzle piece um, but uh, breech piece that goes where the air restrictor would have been has only a partial o-ring and i i don't understand why um yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna just replace that with a full o-ring or if it's supposed to be like that i really don't know we'll give it a shot with this one if not screw it we'll we can always add in a new o-ring later on because after ordering this um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to get the heavier, one of the heavier fate springs for it. So I have an 11 kilogram spring coming for this thing too. So, um, so we're going to get started on modifying this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up and gut the fate first because I'm going to take the measurements and then see where to kind of go from there because I want to make sure I get the cutouts done first before I start just hacking things away. So let's get started. Okay, so my last video, uh, or, my, or the last part, um, my audio that I was recording cut off. So I have no idea where it actually kind of ended, and it was kind of hard to sync up because I was doing everything in one shot, but either way, this is the completed installed kit. Um, these two pieces actually lock together, so this definitely does not move when opening when doing the pullback so this is just kind of there for the clicky i guess uh to load it you're gonna be and also this helps uh keep the darts from i guess going too high but yeah it's basically going to be you pull this out to load a dart push it back into prime it pull this back and then that's really it um yeah everything fit is fitting back into place i actually kind of closed this up already because of filming earlier um and everything went back in wonderfully so i'm just going to push this catch spring down so i can reclose this thing up and then i will give you my final thoughts on it uh, we'll do some FPSs to see what it's getting with the stock configuration. Um, and I'm going to base it off of that. I'm not going to hold this one up for the heavier spring. I will just, once that spring comes in, that's when I'll do the paint job on this thing. And make it look like really cool or sci-fi or I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. But either way, it's going to look cool. So I'm going to get this all buttoned up and I will show you. Can close, 
because I just want to make sure that it still does and that I'm not a liar. And yep, everything goes back together. So I am going to screw this thing together. I'll get the my uh, target set up so we can do some FPS testing, get you those numbers, and then I will give you my final thoughts on what I think of this kit. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Worker Short Dart Kit for the Fate. Um, I gotta say, I'm actually kind of impressed with this thing. It's, It was not a bad install. It went very quickly. Uh, over and all, I actually did this in about an hour, and that's not bad at all. Uh, print quality of the parts is really good. Uh, no real blemishes with the save of one, and this could actually even just be considered nitpicky, but... Uh, right where the seam is at this curve, it's, you can kind of hear it, it's a little off, um, just like that last little layer. I could probably fix it with some sanding, but I'll worry about that when I do the cosmetic mods and I get the spring. Um, also, I apologize, I did not get the footage of me actually doing the FPS test, but I have my screenshots from my chronograph here, so you can get all, you can see all the numbers. Overall, this performed pretty well. Uh, 110 for Adventure Force Pro and 110 for uh, Max Striker Darts, which is pretty nice, I gotta say. Um, and just kind of touching what I spoke on earlier with the feet, this grip is actually really, really comfortable, so I'm very happy with that. Um, I can't wait to actually do this thing up right. Uh, going into how this thing actually works now that it's all together and I didn't get it earlier, um, instead of when you pull back on the T and this thing popping out, this is now actually locked in place. To load a dart, you'd actually have to pull the barrel out, which is why that ring was actually taped around it. You take a worker magazine. Uh, you can use either the 10 round, which this is from my Swift. Uh, it does work with the 15s, and it works with the 18s. These were the only... Um, these are the only uh, Talon magazines that I have. I have no idea if this works with Hitachi magazine. I would guess probably. Uh, also, since this was made by Worker, I'm going to question the viability of um, the Adventure Force Dart Zone uh, half-length half mags and also Katanas. I think I still have a Katana somewhere, and I know I have Adventure Force, mag, Adventure Force Dart Zone mags. Um, I'll check those just straight in here and see if it works, and I'll just leave a note here if it does or not. But once you have the breech basically open, you insert a magazine, close the breech, you're already primed, and then you just fire. And then to reload, pull back and just... That almost hit the camera. And there you have it. Now, this obviously, since it's just a straight barrel, does not have a skinny pusher or skinny breech in it. So in order to unload it, you do need to open the breech, don't have to at least prime it, and then just take your magazine out. Now, one thing I noticed though, is even though it has the magazine release and it holds it actually really good, you can actually just pull the magazine out. Not sure why that is, um, I, you know, looking at, looking through the mag well, you can see the detent for the, um, the magazine actually sticking up. So it sounds like it locks in. It's not going anywhere, but yet I can still just pull it out. And it's not just that one. It's the 18 rounds and also the 15 rounds. So So that's just a weird thing. Um, also, in regards to if you wanted to put a scar on it, if you're getting you know higher FPSs and stuff like that, but you could just uh, change it out the spring, which, again, I will do a cosmetic mod and update of this once I do get that spring in. Um, you can fit scar barrels on here. I got this one at FoamCon. Um, I honestly don't remember who gave it to me, and I'm really, really sorry. It was a very hectic day, and it was also a couple months ago. 
But if you happen to have designed this particular uh, 3D printed scar barrel, please let me know in the comments down below because it does work on here and that's really nice. Um, I also have the worker um, compatible scar barrel from Foamdemic and a little bit of finagling. That works as well. And surprisingly, out of everything that I had that I could try, I have my worker injected molded scar barrel that came with my Swift. And it's actually loose. And I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a little sad that the actual worker scar barrel doesn't work on a worker kit. But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, overall, I really like it. Um, Fates have been popping up on sale here and there. And they're also not that expensive to begin with. I think I may have paid like 9 or 10 bucks for this one. Um, I think they go anywhere from 10 to 20 or so, depending on the sale or wherever you're located at. And this kit from AK Blaster Mods was, I want to say, maybe around 20 six dollars or so i'll leave a link to it down below if you are interested in picking it up um i paid for this out of my own pocket this is just if you are interested in getting it yourself but yeah overall i really like it a very easy kit uh to install very simple um definitely gives you more options than other just rival rounds so that's really nice also obviously if you do this it doesn't work with rival anymore uh but so that's where I'm going to end it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Short Dark Conversion Kit for the Fate, if you have one, or would you consider getting one? Let me know in the comments down below. I always love reading them all. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me or Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. But again, thank you for joining me for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Thank you